in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Flux Pullet and how to download it and how to, what are the settings of Flux Pullet. You can make images like this, then like this, and like this, and like this. If you want to know how to make images like this, then please watch the full video to know. So I'm using the Flux Puller version 0 0.9 once saved in for all of the photos. So now let's see the results. So this is the photo that are generated. This is pretty good. And this was the prompt. So all of the photos that you saw before were pretty good and the prompt were just basic. I didn't even go in detail. You can try the detailed version. So now, first of all, I'll see this photo. Then I am gonna, I'm even going to show you how to install Pullet. That's in the later of the video, later part of the video. So now I'm gonna download the workflow as well. If you want this workflow, then go in the description and go to the link that I've provided. I'm going to paste that workflow over there. So now let me write another prompt. A girl in the picture is eating the apple in her left hand. As you can see, uh, the photo of Alexander Daddario, she's eating an apple. So let me make a photo of that if it's a bit too much, but still, let's try it. Now Q prompt. So while we wait, I'll show you. It took me around 210 seconds for the first picture that I showed you guys. Now, let me show you all the settings that I have. So, the, I'm using the Q4KS GGF dual clip loader. Everything like this. You can see. Version 0 0.91 save tense of Flux Pullet. So this is all the way it fusion train steps is 1000 sampler Euler. So all of this. Uh, I'm going to put a JSON file as well. You can just copy it. So now let's see if it makes the prompt. Let me fast forward this. See, as you can see this, it made a different photo, but she is holding an apple in her left hand. No, she holding at her right hand, but still it made the same face that we wanted. Let me save this. Now, let's add another hue prompt. I'm just testing out everything that this workflow can do for you guys. And I'm gonna, at the end of the video, show you how to install Pullet as well in the same video. So it's going to be a big video. Now I'm going to write the goal in the... The girl is at the beach wearing a bikini. Let's see how it makes all the skin and everything. If it's good or not. So again, I'll just fall forward a the video of it. 
see now the photo is done it's made the photo but it's still a bit plasticky not that plasticky but it is we can fix that with a uh, lora or something but it's pretty good the face face was good now let's add another prompt now i'll write the girl is wearing a dress like a princess near a castle now let's see if it can make it now the prompts are done now let's look at the photo again now uh, the girl in the wearing a bikini so this was the photo this one is not the best it's a bit plasticky but we can fix that uh, while ora now i've speeded up uh, for the another prompt so the next prompt took me around 200 seconds so this is the result so uh, it's pretty good yeah there is a castle behind it she is wearing a dress the face is decent she has the eyes as well blue eyes that's good uh, it's pretty good we can fix that with the lora now let's in let's install pull it now this is the github page all the necessary files are over here ggfu model clip vae everything is here so now just copy this file go to your port will come to your windows portable go to custom nodes here type cmd over here now just paste the code now it's done now cancel this if you don't have ggfu download the ggfu files like i have the q4ks i'm downloading this Let me show you all this. Go to models, then unit, then page two here. Okay. Now it's exactly the same, like. my previous video the pulled uh, sdxl1 if you want a, the complete complete guide watch that but i'm going to paste or oh, you can download the clip like this here also all these files are given the pulled uh oh get up page and i have i'm also pasting it in the site of mine in the description below so download this ae safe tensor file as well and put it in the necessary folders so now let's download the main pulled flux file so just click on the button over there and go to files and download the 9.1 version I have this widget you can download anyone. So I have downloaded real and then go to models. Then pull it. If you don't have pull it file over here, then just click here. 
I add a folder and just name it Pullard All Small Caps, just like I did. I've already done it, so I'll just remove that Pullard. Okay, this is done. See, that's text XTX other version. This is the not whirling. So now for the face low and envelope, they're the same. So I'll just paste that video over here. Just so you guys can see that. And you don't have to change the video. Apply any workflow. For now this. The face lip depends on the dependency. We'll do it that later. Click on the antelope to, to file over there. Then download the zip, the pickle version. Just copy this and go to go to models. Then inside face. Then go on models in inside the inside face. Then paste the zip file over there. Then unzip it and everything else. You'll get this file. Just copy all this. Or oh, don't copy this. Just delete the zip file and keep the normal file. Not a file. But a link in the description open that there's some file over there this file or just open the, or just type the inside page 07 then everything will come if you remember we started the video with checking the python OA. this is the python origin you uh i had the 3.12 so download this if you have the same as mine or if you are 3.12 just download that everything is the same Do, j then copy the file who were you this is one of the main steps just copy the file over there and over you yeah. then go back now we'll open the cmd file over you cmd and just type python.exe and pip and everything installed there like the exact name as the file otherwise it won't work i have downloaded already that's why it's typing requirement already satisfied but for you guys it will download some files it will take around five to ten minutes or maybe less after that uh open the description of the video then Go to the link that I've provided, then copy this file, Python exe, everything, copy it. Now go to uh, what? I uh, know. Uh, Windows Portable. Mm, I'm sorry, it lacked a bit, but now go to Python embedded, type CMD OEO. Now copy paste all the three to four files that I've given. I have already downloaded it. That's why I require right. Shap is right. It's it's telling me. There are four files. One I don't now do the same thing again. So you guys get what I'm trying to say. So I'll fast forward the video. No. In starting GNOME fee, you'll get this red arrow. Don't worry. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's still working. Now, let's open Python. No, sorry. Uh-huh. Comfy what? 